Hey, I'm out here in Menominee, Wisconsin, and uh, I got loaded today. I'm going to show you what I got here in just a second. But I got loaded over in Minnesota, Becker or something like that. I don't know. But I loaded these really big paper uh, rolls. See if I can get up one hand. Now I can't see how they're really loaded. Um, there's six of them total. They weigh 6,460 pounds, 20,870 feet. That's a big roll of paper, and I, I'm guessing it's probably seven feet tall, seven and a half. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, big rolls of paper. I got loaded, and I needed to. Uh, move the axles because they had me put the axles at the extreme rear of the trailer. I didn't have any way to know whether I was uh, moving enough weight or not. Uh, it's a pretty heavy load, 38,000 pounds, which isn't horrible, but I wanted to show you what I do to move the axles, how I, how I guesstimate things. What I normally do you can see that back of the load is there at the strap and there's two panels okay, here's the door and then there's two panels so I count the panels back of the load would be at this rib right here which would be about eight feet from the back with this between the wheels that mark goes right between the wheels and that's as far back as I can legally put the tandems. So what I did was I went off of the, the weight. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull that. You can see the pins went up in inside the frame there so that the trailer is able to move now. I'll show you what I what I did at the customer to get the load down the road, but it's not a real accurate way to uh, to do the load because it it's it's a guesstimation. Usually, when I'm at the shipper, um, I'll set the trailer brake, pull the pins and I'll uh, slide the weight as far forward as I can without going past the arrow, uh, the arrow that splits the axles, there, the little decal, and uh, I'll move as much weight forward as I can onto the drives, on the drive wheels, because I, I have a pretty good idea how much I can put on, you know, at 52 pounds, I'm right getting close to 34,000 pounds. So I have an uh, unknown thing there, so I'll move as much weight forward as I can while I'm at the shipper on the load gauge, even if I know I'm going to be light on the trailer, because that will give me, you know, a, a pretty safe passage to where I can get to a scale and axle the truck out. Now my load gauge says about 51 pounds, uh, about 52 and a half is uh, max on that, 53, that'll put me up around 34,000. But I went to the cat scale and I axled the truck. Cat scales are at most major truck stops. When you weigh your truck on a cat scale, it gives you the total gross weight of the truck and the individual weights of each axle group. And at 51 pounds, I'm at 33,240, but I've only got 28,000 on the trailer. So I need to move a bunch of weight back because it's, uh, 
it's it's riding okay but uh it'll handle a lot better if i move weight back on onto the trailer and try and equal the weight out so i know i can legally haul 34,000 pounds on my trailer weight and i'm going to subtract 28 240 that gives me 5760 pounds that i can slide back onto the the tandems on the trailer and still legally haul it you saw where the pins came in each hole is equivalent to 250 pounds so if i divided that by uh 250 that's 23 holes that i can move that well there's not 23 holes there so but i'm not trying to move that much weight anyway i'm going to start again with 34,000, and i'm going to subtract 33 240 and I've got 760 pounds of available space. And so what I want to do is um, I'm going to figure out how many holes I can slide back and uh, bring that weight a little closer to being um, even. That's my trailer brakes. I'm going to set the trailer brakes. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to hit the inner, the axle interlock so it's like a, it'll give me a little bit better, smoother pull. I'm going to come down here. And now, let's see if I can get this, throw this in reverse. If I have to move it like a foot, I'll try to think of it as six inches or, you know, a foot and a half. Uh, I'll think of it as a foot because then I don't overshoot. Because uh, a lot of times, a lot of times you'll you'll be thinking you only moved it a, a little bit, and it's actually moved it quite a bit. Got it right where it needs to be, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the pin off. I'm going to go over here. Put those back out you can see that it hasn't popped out through the hole but it's in the right hole so what i'll do is i'll just go back to the truck and i'll pull on it and it will uh it'll pop out of the hole no we won't hear it but i can feel it locking in so i know i'm good you can see that both of the pins have, st have popped out the handles back in place and we're good to go now so I should be uh, my weight is balanced out I don't know what the weight is exactly I could figure it out with the calculator or I could run it across the scale again for an additional dollar but I'm not going to do that because I know I'm legal and uh, I don't I don't care I don't care what the weight is at this point, uh, as long as it's legal and I know it's underweight on the drives and on the trailer tandem. So that's how I do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Eh? Have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.